Egyptologist Mustafa Gadala seems to think the Moses character may have some of his roots in the Egyptian sun cult pharaoh Akhenaten. Akhenaten reigned during the 18th dynasty of Egypt around 1400 BC, the time which Moses supposedly was handed laws from God atop Mount Sinai. Gadala says that as a baby, Akhenaten reportedly was sent down a river and rescued, and when he grew up, started a monotheistic religion in a time when polytheism was favored, as reported with Moses. Also like Moses, Akhenaten moved against any worship of the other gods and attempted to erase them from history. So if Moses is at least partially based off of historical individuals, King Hammurabi and Akhenaten could be a couple of those individuals. Because aside from these models inflicted with revision, there are no historical documents outside the Bible or the Quran lending evidence that Moses was a real person. And, as it turns out, there doesn't seem to be any evidence to support the idea that the mountain presently known as Mount Sinai is the same Mount Sinai that appears in the Bible. In fact, the present Mount Sinai was called such later. It was named after the mountain in the Bible. But which volcano is the story about Mount Sinai based off of? Well, there are several options. Saudi Arabia contains multiple volcanoes that could have been adequate candidates. Professor Colin Humphreys of Cambridge University thinks it may be a mountain in northwestern Saudi Arabia called Mount Bader. We must keep in mind that Moses' father-in-law was the priest of Midian, which is in Saudi Arabia. When Moses had his burning bush experience at the mountain of God, there seemed to be some implication that he was in Midian. Moses spent 40 years there, and it just so happens, the Midianites reportedly worshipped a volcano god called Jave.